part one, I, I showed you how to connect a DC refrigerator or freezer to a battery. And then we were using a trickle charger to keep the battery charged off the grid. Now we're going to see in part two how to keep the battery charged using a solar module. This is a 55 watt solar module and it is, you can see the size. The advantage of this particular module I like is it still has the older style J-Box connections on the back. A lot of the newer modules have gone to a molded connector that uh, you cannot access the wires from. So with this particular module, I'm using a, a, a Morning Star Sunkeeper. This is a solar charge controller. It is uh, waterproof and can be mounted outside. And the nice thing about it is it's designed to fit into the J-Box on the back of the module. So to make the connections is fairly simple. The yellow wire goes to the solar positive right here. The black wire goes to the solar negative, which is right here. The red wire is going to go to the, to the battery. So we're going to use this terminal as a holding terminal. And then we have the black and negative and red positive wire going to the battery. And that is right here. So to make the connections again, we just have to connect to the positive and negative terminals on the back of the module and the solar charge controller. And then, of course, the junction box goes on. Now. Once we have that connection made, we now are coming off the roof or, where, or maybe you had a ground mounted. We have a red and black, this positive and negative connections for the battery. We will want to connect this to the battery with a fuse. So I'm, again, I'm using an inline fuse and that will be on the positive terminal. So we're going to connect it to the positive using the crimper here. That will go on our battery positive. Again, making sure we have a very tight connection. We'll use another ring terminal for the negative. Come out of there. Now, as long as this grid power is keeping the battery charged, plugged in, the battery will stay fully charged and the solar will essentially not be doing anything but just sitting there idle. If the grid goes down, the solar controller, the charge controller that we installed, will sense that the battery voltage is starting to drop and will immediately start taking charge from the solar module and putting it into the battery. And under those, situ under those conditions, we can run indefinitely off the solar system. If the grid does come back, or if you want to use a generator, if power is available, it will start charging the battery again.